Hello everybody and welcome to the Money Man. Now today I've got two commemorative banknotes to show you from the Solomon Islands and these were both released in the last couple of years and we'll start off with the lowest denomination which is a five Solomon Islands commemorative polymer banknote and I really love this design. This is a very cheap banknote, it's got a very low face value, very easy to get hold of as well and it's a really really beautiful banknote and it celebrates something quite unusual. Now, in 2019, they decided that they were going to produce a banknote that celebrates the United Nations World Tuna Day. Um, so this banknote actually celebrates the notion of sustainable fishing and um, basically adheres to the values of protecting our natural environment and fishing reserves. So what you have on this banknote is the yellow fin tuna so very very interesting so it's an unusual thing to commemorate but i like the ethos of this note i like where they're coming from you know flora and fauna is often represented on banknotes however it's very rare to have a commemorative banknote that reminds us of the importance of you know looking after our natural environment and securing the sustainability of fish stocks around the world so it is an unusual one but it doesn't only celebrate, um, you know, the uh, you know the tuna day. It also looks at other aspects of the Solomon Islands culture. So really, what I should have done is shown you the front of the banknote first. That would have been helpful because we can see some very key features. Now you can see that we've got the clear window here, which is a yellow fin tuna. And you can see that we've got the uh, coat of arms of the Solomon Islands and it says to lead is to serve and that is their um, national motto and you can see that it tells you that this note is legal tender for five dollars so these were put into circulation as well we've got the governor's signature and the secretary minister of finance right there um, so oh, sorry the secretary of the ministry of finance is what I should have said and you can see we've got a slight raised surface in the corner for the visually impaired and I really really like, like this banknote um, I find these sort of like tentacles that go through it quite interesting as well um, almost like a harmony between some kind of you know um, cephalopod and almost like a tribal design as well so whether it's supposed to be like the tentacles of an octopus or something I'm not quite sure um, but it is interesting nonetheless so very very nice and let's have a look at the reverse and you can see that we've got some um, native people's spear fishing so you can see that what they're actually doing is you can see these people are in slightly in deeper water and they're trying to scare the fish towards the shallows so the men can easily spear them um, so that's what's going on in there um, this practice is widely done actually in um, sort of Pacific Island nations and stuff like that they still catch fish in this sort of traditional manner of trying to they wait until the fish uh, gather in massive shoals at certain times of the years and then they use nets and things like that and they will corral the fish near the um, the edge of the water and then men will go in with nets or spears in this case and just catch as many fish as possible so it is an old um, method that is used still to great effect today in many many sort of um, island nations um, so really really interesting fascinating banknote you can see we've actually got the Solomon Islands flag popping through here with the five stars so that's really really nice and we have the Central Bank of Solomon Islands logo represented as well so let's see what happens when we put this banknote under UV light I'll see if this is gonna work now let's see okay so as you can see we get these wonderful accents that appear on the left and the right of the banknote and you can see these fish that go through the pattern on the right hand side so really really nice and I love how this strip sort of illuminates um, it's not as effective because I'm filming this during the day of course but you get a good idea of what we can see and if we spin it around and look at the front again you can see that actually we get this wonderful yellowfin tuna with a denomination of five and then some other fish swimming around it so really really nice I really like that little sort of you know invisible image there and uh, the the serial number lights up as well the one on the left hand side so very very nice bang very very well designed so let's have a look at the other one that I have which is a 40 Solomon Islands dollar note and this is another commemorative that was introduced to celebrate 40 years of independence so here it is so it is actually vertical on the front 
um, so it's a little bit difficult for me to show you, but I will spin it around in a moment. But you can see we've got the de denomination of 40 because it's celebrating that 40 years of um, independence. And you can see it says in, uh, in Solomon Islands, this note is legal tender for $40, 40 years of independence, 1978 to 2018. So really, really nice. And what you have actually here is a man in... Um, in tribal dress you can see he's got his headdress on there and he's actually blowing into a large shell uh, which is acting as a horn and I guess this is sort of like a symbolism of the call of independence or a celebration of freedom um, and you can see very much you can see in that sort of like island uh, style um, of, of you know of dress with with the uh, the headdress right there so really really interesting wonderful shell right here which seems to be very similar to the shell that he's actually blowing into so really really cool very nice and i like the patterns that move all the way through the banknote these sort of di uh, diamond shaped patterns very very nice so if we spin it around i can move it up to the camera and show you in much more detail it's a very very nice banknote quite simple in many respects um, you've also got a geographic representation of the different islands that make up the Solomon Islands as a nation. Um, so very, very cool. And just at the bottom, you can see we've got the coat of arms of the Solomon Islands right there. So let's spin it around. Now you can see that this is a landscape um, orientation on the back, so it's different. Um, and you can see that we've got a nod to the Solomon Islands maritime history. Um, so you can see that we've got a diver right here, some tropical fish, a sea turtle, and um, some people fishing and doing, you know, you know, using a small boat to go out and row around the different islands. So very, very nice depiction of traditional Solomon Islands tribal life there. And you can see that we've got a larger image sort of overlaid of the Solomon Islands flag, which is, you know, you can see the, the yellow uh, diagonal line and the green and the five stars right there. So there's a nice harmony in how the images are sort of overlaid. Um, really, really nice. I think this is an incredibly beautiful banknote. And I think that the reverse is much more interesting than the obverse, actually. So those are the two commemorative banknotes that I have for you today. What do you think about these? I think these are really, really wonderful polymer banknotes. Very, very collectible. Um, quite easy to get hold of as well, actually. They produce quite a lot of these. Um, so yeah, let me know. Do you have these in your collection or do you not collect commemorative banknotes? Are you one of those people that just doesn't like them? Because there are a lot of collectors out there that just don't touch commemorative banknotes, even if they're legal tender or not. So I'd love to know, what are your thoughts on commemorative banknotes? For me, I'm really, really big into commemorative banknotes. I absolutely love them. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. It's the Money Man signing up for now. Bye-bye.